now weekend weather as well. Morning, Louise. Thanks, Naga. Good morning. Yes, this has been the story so far through the night, in actual fact. Now, Irma has made landfall across the north of Cuba. It's the first Category 5 storm to make landfall since 1924. Now, you can just see the eye brushing with the north of the coast there, but behind it is Jose. Now, this is a Category 4 hurricane at the moment, and it looks likely to brush to the north of Barbuda, but if we run the projected forecast of what's going to happen with this storm, it looks likely to continue to track in a northwesterly direction. That means if it moves over open waters, it may well weaken and not be as significant a threat. But Irma, we will be talking about throughout the weekend, it will continue to slowly track its way north and west. It is expected to make landfall across that Florida coastline, perhaps during the early hours of Sunday morning. But there is a potential that this storm could just change its track and move just that little bit further west. We'll need to keep an eye on that one. And of course, we will, of course, update you if it does so. Back closer to home, things are pretty unsettled here too, with an area of low pressure sitting close to Scandinavia and a northwesterly flow driving in plenty of showers today. It's a real autumn day, blustery, with plenty of sharp, frequent and at times thundery showers as well. Now, they'll start off chiefly to the north and west, so we'll have some decent spells of sunshine in sheltered eastern areas but as we go through the day it'll be a case of dodging those showers if you do so in Scotland and you get a little bit of sunshine temperatures are not particularly uh, that great I'm afraid so at nine o'clock in the morning they'll be around 12 or 13 degrees we'll have a scattering of showers across northwest England and Wales and down into the southwest it's not too bad a start for central and eastern areas this is 9 a.m there will be some sunshine at first thing so get out and enjoy it because I suspect those showers really will gather in into intensity and frequency as we go through the day. And they'll be driven further inland by that breeze. Perhaps with the lighter winds, they'll be pretty slow moving when they arrive in the southeast corner, but I don't suspect you'll escape them completely. And then top temperatures, 15 to 18 degrees. Obviously, in the showers, it's going to feel pretty disappointing. If you keep the sunshine, you will be the lucky ones. Now, through the night tonight, though, those showers will fade away and actually skies clear for a time. So a chilly start to our Sunday morning, single figures, a little bit of patchy mist and fog developing. But the real story for Sunday is this area of low pressure that's going to arrive and that's going to bring some wet and windy weather again across Northern Ireland and into Scotland. Now, it's a weak affair as it pushes its way steadily eastwards, but a real cluster of showers following on behind. So, an unsettled afternoon on Sunday for Northern Ireland, for Scotland, northwest England. Lighter rain moving through the spine of England. It should stay dry during daylight hours for the bulk of eastern and southeast England with highs of 19 degrees. More for me coming up back to you too. See you later, Louise. Thank you. Now, before eating in a cafe or restaurant,